Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Against the Storm, where today we are ending another Blight Cycle and hopefully sealing another rune seal? Sealing another seal. The seal is weakening, we are reforging the- yep, that one. We're doing that thing. Hopefully. Uh, we are definitely turning the difficulty back up to Viceroy at least. Uh, we'll consider jumping up another level later sometime. Um, so now that we know that it is difficult to build the fox house, I am a little bit reluctant to take a starting population that is dominated by foxes. Let's start with this harpy group, I think. Even though I do, I like, this is a better set of items. And, you know, we may end up with foxes anyway, right? It, it may it may be the case that there's no getting away from it. Okay, and 36 meat, and yeah, that'll do it, right? Uh, the settlement doesn't really need a name because it's going to be wiped off the map as soon as it begins to exist. But, you know, it's like, um, it's like Seal Sealsburg. That's it. Nailed it. Got it. Let's do it. Let's get in here and forge a thing. So we got to find the thing, then we got to fix it. And it would be good to not wait as long as we did last time to start fixing it because apparently it can throw some surprises at you. All right. So woodcutters don't increase hostility, but every ton of failed, uh, failed trees does add hostility. Scary stuff. Uh, there's, of course, a broken ancient seal somewhere in the forest. Uh, the storm will be a bad time. Uh, there's also the beacon tower, allowing us to summon aid directly from the citadel, which we may well need. Overgrown trees with a lot more resource charges can be found in this forest. Uh, and impatience grows 70% slower during drizzle season, which, I, I don't know, probably matters. It matters. I'm sure it matters. Uh, what are we going to deal with negative-wise? Okay, unhoused villagers will get exhausted, active from hostility one, so basically immediately. Uh, we Complex food needs prevents the cold snap, a chance of consuming double food. I mean, that's probably not really that big of a deal. Complex food plus housing prevents resolve penalties. That matters. We care about those. Uh, and blood flowers. Blood flowers suck and are annoying. Okay. So we are on foxes here. We have started with beaver, beaver, fox, harpy. That means our critical overlaps are the same as they were last time. We have a vague idea of what we need doing. Um, I am pretty not jazzed about the housing situation here. <sighs> okay, so. What do we care about? I mean, the brickyard is something we might care about, right? We don't necessarily need the access to more efficient bricks, although it's not terrible. The lumber mill is good too. The, the, the extra efficient planks and also scrolls for education access is strong. Um, pottery for both wine and um, pickled goods production is also meaningful. We definitely do need a source of pottery or barrels or something, but we don't need it right away. And I'm wondering if it makes sense to take the, to take the highly efficient planks. The carpenter is very good. Ah oh, man, this is a t this is a tough. This is legitimately tough. It was like, what we need is all three of these things. <laughs> I can't guarantee that will happen. Well, having a recipe for crystallized dew so that we can build proper fox houses and stuff. I I think let's take the brickyard for right now. And then Clothier gives us water skin access and scroll access. Yeah, I think that's Clothier remains a very strong, a uh, very strong building, and then we have the Forester's Hut. I mean, maybe this is how we make our crystallized dew, and having resin is generally good. We 
We don't have anything else currently to do with our farms. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we have here some some reed fields. We have quite a lot of berries available. Um, real spooky trees, just the spookiest trees anywhere ever. Is this is this a tree? Is this a tree? Do we feel like this is a tree? Okay, let's um let's crack through some stuff. Let's see some see some glades early on here and just try to figure out a way to survive. We'd like to crack through two glades pretty quickly. Nope, oh, that's a trapper's camp. Uh, so that we can get a little bit of triangulation going on the the important glade. And then also, you know, like, berries. Also, berries is good. Indeed. Right there. That seems fine. I forgot that the music in these regions is, like, actually very rad. Uh, so, I'm clicking on everything, but what I really need is housing. Beaver house. Singular. Harpy house. Multiple. Three of them, in fact. And then also... Excuse me, I've been recording for a little while already and my throat is getting all scratchy. Uh, we could just do a big shelter to hold foxes for the moment with the hopes of being able to, you know, move up to proper fox housing before too much longer. I don't hate that. Let's do that. Okay, so... Breakthroughs to there and there. All right. Let's get some shit done. No, wait. How many? We've started with six planks. That's not enough to build an upgraded plank building. Is there? Did we actually end up? I've already forgotten what we grabbed. We took the brickyard and the clothier, and the yes. Yeah, so we didn't. We didn't take an advanced plank building anyway. Never mind. We are crude workstationing. As ever. Okay. This is a trapper's kit. I did I did the thing twice without noticing it. Okay, that's fine. This trapper's camp will probably be useful eventually. For right now, I'm gonna go put it over here. <laughs> That's fine. We don't, it's not like we need to be like careful or good at our jobs or anything here on this difficulty trying to rebuild a seal and whatnot. Who is working the thing right now? Um let's let's swap to forest affinity. Okay, uh, do, do, do. Gain two amber for every 20 sea marrow produced is interesting. Forester's hut is more effective, is effectively like a lot of extra money, right? Resin and, um, crystallize do both sell pretty well. I might want to take the grain delivery line. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna we're gonna hope. We we don't have any particular reason to believe that we would be bad at um uh that we would be bad at agriculture, although this area is like well poorly suited to it or anything. Um Fox Resolve to 15 really isn't that hard. Sell 16 amber and deliver 10 amber. Uh, yeah. We're getting, we're being given goals here that are not easy to do early on, though, which is a little harsh. Yeah, that's a, that's a real shame. Okay. Okay. 
get some of this going. Let's get some of this going. Okay, we need lots and lots and lots and lots of wood. I'm gonna unequip this harpy. I'm trying to figure out, like, do we... I don't think we leave you as a builder. I think we make you a plank maker for the moment. We just really, like, focus in hard on getting a bunch of planks done because we're going to need housing. Okay, that's interesting. Mushrooms meet some copper. Okay. And a pretty clear sense of... Yeah, there's just there's just not very many glades at all that we could be talking about here. It is this one, right? It just is that one. So, good to know early. We'll definitely want to expand in that direction after we clear the, um, the first storm. Oh, a little bit of a hitch there. And once we have some decent amounts of planks in the uh, in the thing here, we will unassign somebody from like one of the lumber camps to go and to go and actually build the houses. Here we got worm tongue nests. We got an early abandoned cache that we can't really do anything interesting with yet, but we'll get there. The most important thing was figuring out a direction to to be pushing in because we want we want the correct glade to be the first dangerous glade that we open ideally all right i am going to unassign one person from wood cutting to start doing buildings where possible we're going to have to start working fabric too but i don't know we're getting leather from the trees to some degree. A plague of mosquitoes. Global production speed down. Cool. Well, for the moment, everybody's holding on. The completion of this building will give, give a fair number of people cover. Okay, let me, um, actually, let me just grab this and move it over here. Sort of specify a path that goes this way. All right. Wood production is increased, but harvesting and planting are slower. Um, lost supplies is not terrible. Gain a rep every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. Ugh. I don't think that's a good idea. But if we're pushing into this glade relatively early for lost supplies, or, or for the, um, for to see the seal, then lost supplies is kind of interesting. We might be able to benefit from that early on. Honestly, I think I'm just going to reroll these, though. People in your settlement have survived many hardships, bringing them closer together. A global resolve and 10% speed are both... I mean, they're both good, obviously. This is going to end up being more resolve. In the long run. I'm actually... I'm going to take Rebellious Spirit. It puts us in a little bit more of a dangerous spot, but... Uh, I think I'm going to take this because we need the leather for fabric making early on just to be able to establish housing and whatnot. Uh, that does mean that we need to build another beaver house. And everybody else should be fine. Okay. Um...
We're not exactly starving. So, while I'm confident that that's the right place for that to be, I wonder if working on it is the next thing. We should probably be gathering from this reed field to help make cloth. So let's build a harvester's camp over here. Might as well put that down like that. Okay. This will help us get our, our ducks in a row as far as housing goes. Um, hmm. Well, I'll tell you, I'd like to clear this one. Deliver stormwater is not so hard. Deliver packs of provisions is not so hard. We don't know for sure when we'll be able to fulfill jerky needs, if ever. So I do think that's a better call. Uh, and this one shouldn't be that bad. Really, right? That said, I would rather aid the flock. These are both extremely deliverable. And I really would like to be able to get clan support. Like anything that gives you long lasting resolve bonuses is so helpful. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I know that this is like, we're still going to be having some difficulty um, actually finishing things. Let's make sure we actually build the makeshift post here uh, sometime today in the early going. Oof, we are we are burning through wood. Let me make sure I limit these. Probably should have, you know path out to here. This thing is not movable, sadly. It's kind of exactly the wrong spot. That's, you know, it's fine. We can just put this here. Okay. That's all good. We're grinding hard on fabric. We're actually getting some of those buildings up. Yeah, and right now we only need one more house to go up for everybody to be to be safe because harpies will move out of the um, the big shelter, and the fox will move in. Okay, so we're getting that under control. Packs, we need packs of crops and we need packs of building materials. Packs of crops in particular. Can you make crops out of... No, you cannot make crops out of reeds, sadly. That is actually kind of a huge problem. Actually, hold on. Uh... I don't believe our lumber camps are employing. Yeah, in fact, this one, uh, I guess somebody can keep working it. But yeah, we have very few beavers, right? So I do want to make sure they're all doing the most, the most optimal thing here. Uh, but yeah, somebody's got to be gathering this stuff for the fabric makers. Once we have the housing situation figured out, we will worry about finishing orders afterward. So we only have two people who are currently unassigned. Yeah, I mean, the fact is we just can't pack of crops right now. I need to, I need to set up mushroom gathering. Right, mushrooms work, yeah. Well, I mean, alright, let's make sure all of this stuff is turned on. Packs of provisions can be made with berries and eggs and stuff, but unfortunately, we don't need those. And of course, there is always the nightmare of the building materials, although we don't actually, at the moment, need any of that. 
Okay, what we do need, now that we have a little bit of space and we're not so incredibly slammed on resources, is a trading post. We're still pretty slammed on resources, though, to be clear. The Plague of Malady. Villagers take longer rests and, okay, often will consume more food. That's not such a big deal. Right. Housing situation is almost fixed. It'll be good any second now. Come on, build one of the houses. There we go. Oh, finish! Finish, damn you! Okay, there we go. That's got everybody sorted. And here's Farloof. Uh, so I don't think we want to do Fiery Wrath right now. Honestly, Export Specialization is probably pretty good for us. We have a lot of need of packs already. Yeah. And we're not going to get any new orders for a while, so there's no reason to hold off on interacting with Farloof. Farloof could sell us the design for the carpenter. Honestly, a pretty high value thing, but I just don't think we can afford to buy it from him right now. Yeah, we kind of don't have anything that I would want to sell to produce money. Yeah, all right. Nice seeing you, Farloof. All right, let's actually breach this. Is that a good idea? Hell if I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the. Even though I really do feel like we could need more, we could use more hands. I'm a little leery of taking this group of people, just because. That'll completely fill the big shelter with foxes. It's probably fine. We're going to need to build another beaver house. But I think that's... Yeah, that's okay. And then let's... Assign some people here. Don't do any of these right now. Go ahead and make packs of provisions, I suppose. Let's keep these pretty tightly limited, though. Unfortunately, this we need... Yeah, we need seven at a time. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. And we're almost to the point where we could push Fox Resolve up to 15 with a favor, so... There's a thing to watch out for. And are we going to be ready for a Dangerous Glade event? I don't know. For sure nervous about it. Okay, everybody's housed. We're comfortable. We need to be meeting another need. So the good news is, we have a clothier. Where's the edge of the hearth area? Okay. I really wish I could get rid of that. Um, clothier's movable though, right? Can't be moved, no. Um, yeah, we'll just build it out here. I'll just move the road slightly. I like it being this close to the, um, to the warehouse and everything. I think that's worthwhile. Okay, so that's just going to take those, and then we, we can start running coats, and that will that will be very helpful early on. Oh, low on food, are we? Uh, you know, we have people who could be assigned to this. That's just more food gathering for free.
do we have any other sources of food? Yeah, we could we could build another trapper's camp if we wanted, I suppose. So the packs of provisions and storm water. I think it's okay to sell, but I don't know that I want to sell bricks. We do need some storm water. We don't have a geyser. I can just build a collector somewhere, right? And we can pretty compact. And we can just have the um, have the thing operated by a fox and it'll be fine. All right, I'm just going to have that be one harpy for the moment because we are a little short on hands. Do we want to... I think it's okay to break through it in this season. So a 20 pack of building materials is like... That's a lot of fucking wood. And we're going through it very quickly. Four abandoned caches is certainly doable. We have one right now. We will for sure get one from the thing we're opening. I think I'm going to take this. We'll, we'll get four. Four will happen. Make two empathy decisions. Or I'm going to hold off on this one. We can we can hold one decision without it screwing anything up. A lot is going to come down to whether there's a doable empathy decision on the thing that we're about to um, about to be offered. Yeah, y'all made y'all made a lot of provision packs very quickly. I guess we don't need two people on that probably cuz that thing's going to be stopped a large amount of the time. Okay, the seal. Also, a harmony spirit altar and clay deposits, fertile soil. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, this thing. Calming the spirits would be pretty rad. We don't have a source of any of these things. Um, obviously, we can burn it down. Yeah, I mean, not dealing with it is obviously just, like, not an option. So... Two Global Resolve. We'd have to pay 15 Amber. I don't think we can do this. I just don't think there's a way... For us to be able to do this. But we could burn it down. We could produce enough planks. Hell, we almost have the sea marrow. Are we getting sea marrow from the trees? Is that where it's coming from? Yeah. Hmm. So obviously I would like to pick the empathy option here. Um, both for the reward and for the order, but I just don't think there's any chance we can do it before it creates huge problems for us. So let's commit to the sea marrow answer here. And where do we have foxes employed? Let's bump you and bump you so that we can actually have foxes on this because I think they make it faster. Right? Yeah. And resolve dropping faster doesn't matter all that much probably as long as we can like keep it functional but I'm gonna have them I'm gonna have them get to work on this and I'm going to uh, the control I want is at the hearth I want the hearth to stop burning sea marrow don't use don't use sea marrow okay. 
just for a while until the event's done. We'll, we'll we will be allowed to use Seamiro after. Uh, okay, so let's actually take a look at this. The seal opens, unleashing the vengeful monstrosities. We got to build ourselves an ancient guardian. You know how this goes. So this is actually very handy. Open or send three caches, because there is actually there wasn't a cache here, was there? Yeah, there wasn't a cache here, so that's annoying. Um, but we have one already. We'll get yeah, we'll get that done. That's probably the way we're doing that. Certainly over delivering twelve packs of building materials or installing eight rain engines, which would produce a number of pipes that I just can't. I can't imagine we are able to actually build. I think we'll plan on this. We'll remove those trees. Okay. Everybody get to work. This thing is not fully peopled, but I would like for it to be as fully peopled as possible. I guess we are we are as possible, aren't we? Uh, I can cut a person from there. Yeah, let's just try, try really hard here to maintain a large enough supply of wood and enough wood cutting going on that we are um, potentially getting more marrow. Please don't break through to anything new, though. This one doesn't need to be told. They're, they're fine. And we're out of food, which is like a non-solvable problem. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm running I'm running food as best I can here. Um, yeah, the problem is that we are we are pulling food for um, packs and stuff. But I can't not do that. We have to, we do have to do that. The rain collector is certainly not a high priority. We could move this. Over to here where it's at least producing um, stuff closer to home a little bit. It's less, it's less of a run to deliver things to the stockpile. You know what? Maybe we actually do just need to build a second trapper's camp because we do have a lot of trapper food. Trapper ubble food. Yeah, alright. I'm just going to pull you off of this building entirely. Probably pull one of you off of here as well. We just need a larger percentage of our people working on food production is all. Okay, we've already got 13 sea marrow plugged in. Plague of Darkness is... Ugh, storm season is 100% longer. Come on. Well, everybody's going to actual negatives for a million years. Okay, and actually nowhere to move to even, so our days of quick fabric production may be at an end. Certainly not ideal. But yeah, seems like that may be the case. Well... We had two people leave simultaneously. I can't really not have a builder right now. I 
All right, what can I, who can I remove from their task? I guess you. That weirdly, two people leaving seems to have completely fixed our resolve problems. That's a little strange. Uh, ooh, parts? I don't know about that. This one I can do. This one seems fine. <laughs> Very slowly constructing the farm field. I think I want... I think I want this, this left pack for the coals and stuff. It's interesting that that, um, that that created the problems it created. Well, we're going to need another harpy house, obviously. And that has us at exactly six foxes. So that'll, um, that'll get all of them in the big shelter. Okay. And yeah, our resolve numbers are actually really good. Okay, I think survivor bonding is now a perfectly reasonable way to go. And this means that we can, in fact, um, favor ourselves into a point of reputation. We have some stormwater saved up. We're going to have to wait until later to, uh, to max that value out. Food is positive not hugely so but it's going in the right direction at least a uh, bigger herbalist camp is not super meaningful honestly none of this stuff is yeah she didn't come by with very much for us um i would love to sell her goods but i still don't quite well if we sell wildfire essence, we can make we can make this amber trade thing happen, right? So I need from her at least seven amber that we can deliver. And then Sam willing to part with three of those. And this still gives us enough to start another hearth, right? We need five packs of provisions for the quest. So we could put six of those in. And I just need to generate a little bit more money. Right, that's what we need. So I guess we just buy food from her. Whatever food is cheapest. It looks like it's all the same. Yeah, so we'll just buy enough of this to make up the difference. Um, I don't want to do that. Okay, so that locks that in. It gets us a couple more people, gets us some tools, which is fun. Gets us more wildfire essence. So that we can sell that too if we need it. That'll roll back the impatience a little bit. And it will give us access to the forum where we can meet our need for leisure and education. We don't really have a way of producing scrolls right now, so this leisure building is probably not very exciting. Um. We would like to be able to produce tea and wine eventually. 
I think we're going to take this. The artisan... Yeah, we, we want to be able to produce tea and wine eventually. That is not a right now consideration, though. Okay, so let's talk about this cache. Breaking this one open doesn't really make a lot of sense, I think. We want to send this to the Citadel, and we don't quite have the tools yet, so we have to... Do you have tools for sale? You don't. Okay. So we have to wait until we acquire a couple more. Um, we don't actually have a lot of tools coming in from orders this time, which is a real shame. So... What's next as far as uh, meeting needs goes? We have to continue fulfilling orders and we have to continue fulfilling needs. We kind of don't have, yeah, I don't know. We don't have a lot of compelling need meeting buildings yet. I'm just gonna do like the simplest version of this thing over here. All right, kids, throw that stuff together so that our hearth upgrades, get a couple more foxes, a bunch of mushrooms and parts and whatever. Mostly this is about the point of reputation. Uh, none of these are exciting to us at this point. Except, I suppose, like, barrel production. And barrels are for sure the easiest way for us to get a container going because we do have crystallized dew um, coming out of the farms now. Why don't I... I'm going to re-roll these. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. So the artisan can get us barrels alongside pack of luxury goods, which is not a thing we need right now, but it could become a thing that we need. Or we could just take the tavern, where we can at least meet our need for leisure... We have the ability to produce wine, but we still don't have the containers for the wine. Like, we still need to produce barrels or something like that. But Gleeman's Tales right away is, is high value. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I think that's, that's a good one. Okay, so that's growing. What are we working on now? We might be able to aid for the fox pack. We might be able to finish that the very next time there is a storm. Let's make sure that our housing situation isn't getting away from us. So you need a beaver house. And then we need more places to house foxes. And we currently don't have access to fox housing, proper fox housing. So I guess we're just building another one of these. May as well keep the favor up, because it is producing blue resolve. And then packs of building materials and packs of crops. Packs of crops still being somewhat problematic. Caluela. We'll turn that off for right now. Stay focused on the crops. Okay, and this is clear. We just gotta get, gotta get the stuff actually loaded out. And I mean, we kind of want to just get the tavern up as quickly as possible, right? I don't think there's much of a reason to wait. It's unlike with a lot of surface buildings, the um, the bonus just for having built it or for having it worked by three people is is very significant. Uh, I'm going to go back here, and you're allowed to burn that stuff again. So, we still haven't done a single empathy decision, and now we need to make a choice on this to be able to see the next one. I don't know if th I think this is a good idea. This is dangerous, and the rewards on Lost in the Woods are way better. 
use rainwater in buildings, sell goods, or use rainwater in buildings. So faster trader arrival, builders carry items better. Advanced coopering might actually be relevant to us. Power of the clearance is also going to give us more bodies, but that's I'm like I'm a little leery about that. I don't know that we want to keep taking. I guess I don't need to make a choice on that one right now. Okay, so the food stuff's going through. Uh, oh, we probably finished this, but we don't have anybody working it. That can get fixed. Alright, packs of crops are clear. And then we also have enough packs of crops for the other thing, which is great. So let's turn those off. And sadly, packs of building material it is. Just make them out of whatever, get to, what is it, like three of them? Five of them. Yeah, we're making progress. I'm staying a little bit more focused than I sometimes do. Uh, yeah, we have a chance to take the artisan again. I think at this point we do. And I'm not going to turn Pack of Provisions building back on just yet. We will, but, you know. Okay, so that's finally actually cleared. Uh, we could put up a Stonecutter's Camp over here. I mean, we'll probably need it at some point. What do we get for going to level three again? Ah, right. 10% higher chance of producing double yields. I mean, that's pretty cool. It is, I suppose, not the most critical thing. So I think we're gonna, um, we're gonna try for this next. They'll just kind of do that naturally, actually, because those are trees that are close. I think it would be okay to open that up during the storm. Uh, probably let's turn that off right before the storm starts. Give everybody a chance to recover to their normal thresholds. Yeah, gaining a plus three to Harpy Resolve right now is worth having some temporarily unhoused Harpies, I think. Especially since we're solving the problem right away. Okay. And then I am going to, in fact, just pull y'all from this building. We're good on that. The guild house is a place where you only fulfill your need for luxury. That's interesting that it only has the one need. Oh, right, because it has two... Um, it has two abilities. It's cool. Luxury is the one we already have covered, though, isn't it? Yeah. And I mean, like, the, um, the plus to global resolve that just, like, builds up and you can activate it whenever it's actually important... Is certainly cool. Wow. Okay. All villagers are slower, have chance of destroying a production yield, and we are just like, we are so fucking miserable. Everybody is so miserable. I guess we, we did jump up to three hostility, and we're not getting any complex food needs met, so we're not canceling the, uh, the worst penalties. Alright, 
let's have you two. Actually, you know what? This should be harpies. Let's do harpies. Okay. So what have we found? We did find a cache. That's great news. A plantation, an ancient shrine, some root deposit and worm tongue nest large. Okay. Yeah, that plantation's probably pretty helpful. So, an ominous shrine from a long ago era. If we excavate it using just so many packs of building materials, we can get half a point of... Oh, uh... Uh, that sucks. I think that's probably it, right, though? Like, if we loot it, we get stuff that's useful. And I suppose it is only half of a point of reputation. The curse of the forefathers will kill a bunch of people actually really soon. Do we have the resources for any of this? We don't. We could, though. We could. If I had people stop eating something and just, just directed it to this, we would temporarily take a huge hostility uh, gain, which would be obviously very bad for us. But chests of ancient tablets are pretty good money, and we certainly would make use of the pottery. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know about that one. That's interesting. Yeah, geez, we just really don't have tool production available. Alright, as much as I hate this, I think we are doing the pack of building tools excavate here. Or pack of building materials. We just need to actually make the packs of building materials. Uh, yeah. Feel free to make bricks as well. Trying to figure out if I think the packs of building materials are... Like, are we going to get that done fast enough? Because, like, we are actively gathering... Um... Insects, and if I told people to stop eating insects, I'm sure we would hit the insect value pretty quickly. It is only half a point of our reputation. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it this side, but that means we kind of don't want to start it until we're out of the storm. So I'm just going to tell people to stop eating insects. And I know that that is not going to go down super smooth with everybody because we are, like, pretty desperate for food. Uh, we have access to a place to build to make pickled goods, which would be a really nice thing to, to get started. Yeah. Okay, so... Salvage this up real fast. No, wait, don't sell. Sorry, don't do that. B rebuild it. Rebuild it is what I want. Yeah, we want that functional. Well, we are going to lose some people. So let's see here. Right now... We have we have some people unhoused because the the big shelter hasn't been completed yet. I think it's okay to take this group and 
if this just get if this gets finished, it almost solves all of the problems immediately. Yeah, like please please get that done. These two things getting finished solves solves like all of our problems. Uh oh, our herbalist camp running out of uh, running out of places to herbalize is, on the other hand, a little bit more serious. Yeah. Okay, that stuff's got to get done. Very important. Meat production up. 10 amber every time a villager dies or leaves is actually like... It's gonna keep happening. <laughs> Alright, let's let people recover to their resolve thresholds and then we'll start the work. Have we managed to stockpile enough insects? No. But we're getting there. Go. Yeah, wow, it doesn't actually take them very long to finish it. Damn. Harpy left instantly. Well, I mean, there's only so much I can do, y'all. Everything's all fucked up. And it's gonna keep being fucked up. Sure, I mean, everybody's starving. So there's only so much we can do about it. Can't help but noticing we did not do a lot of rain collection uh, during the... Okay, a harpy left, whatever. We did not do a lot of rain collection during the, the stormy season, which sucks. Okay, they're almost done. They'll get it down in time, probably. Okay, that's enough insects. Yeah, they're good. They're gonna they're gonna finish that in time. Cool, cool, cool. All right. From you, I need. What do I need? I mean, food, right? Just kind of raw. The any food would be great. Interesting to note that the uh, pickled goods are actually cheaper <laughs> than the other kinds of food we have access to here. Well, yeah, for sure. Give me all of those. And then... The jerky's not super good. Is it cheap? It is cheap. I mean... Me all that as well. I'll pay you all of this, and also, oh, you're the guy who doesn't who doesn't accept wood as payment. What an asshole. Um, why do I have four packs of building materials? Are we still producing these? Cause like I don't. I don't think we need these. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell those and then like we'll make up the rest in resin. <laughs> okay, that creates food immediately. That'll do something. All right, timer's running, they're good, they got it. And in fact, we are about to hit another point of reputation, thanks to Resolve. I don't want to sell my jerky, actually. Thank you. I probably don't want them to break that, do I? <laughs> Let's move this for a second, just to somewhere where it's not not going to breach another, another glade yet. 
Uh, we do have a stone cutters camp here that's not cutting any stone, but I guess we're a little on the busy side. This still hasn't been finished despite being upgraded priority. I started building the packs of building materials because I was considering doing this thing that way. That's right. Well, I guess stop it. Finish the ones you're doing, but then stop. And you are actually not even working. Okay, that, that explains some of what's going on with the resources and why my housing isn't finished yet. It's because we are still producing those. It's fine. They'll be useful for trade. Oh, look at this. People are actually, like, happy. We're not we're not constantly miserable all of the time forever. Um, smokehouse is not bad. Do we want the forum? Right now, we can't produce incense and we can't produce jerky. And jerky is not an amazing production. And it does, like one thing about jerky is it's definitely just turning food into food. Like sometimes the process of producing fancy food is like you're turning grain, which people can't eat raw, into stuff. Um, but yeah, we don't really need that. Like I. This is just double yields. I guess I would rather have the temple as my education building. Because it lets us pull down, in theory, once we have, you know, enough extra materials to burn. It lets us pull down the hostility level, which is, which is extra resolve. It's not just extra resolve either. It actually does allow us to, um, to rewind some of the harmful effects of... The jungle. Uh, I guess I'll take this one. I don't really love either of those. Okay, this requires us to sell ancient tablets to a trader rather than delivering the ancient tablets. That's really interesting. And it would get us the forum. Because we have some ancient tablets now. But the thing is, this gets us tools, which could help us finish some other things that we're having a hard time finishing. And I am definitely now thinking with the Ancient Seal about just um, pushing for the Heart of Amber instead. I really didn't think Heart of the Forest was going to be all that all that problematic. Uh, do we uh, do we have tool production? No. And we're two reputation away from a blueprint. Hmm. All right. Well, there's only so much that can be done. And we are running out of ways to gather food. This, for some reason, still isn't finished, despite the fact that it should be very easy. And the breakdowns, the breakdowns require stone specifically, which is really frustrating. Yeah, we can't really afford to trade food right now. Well, and he cooked a raw food at the settlement's warehouse. Man, what what do we not need? What is the thing we most don't need? It's just food going missing. Uh, at least everybody's got housing for this storm. It's not enough, but it's something. Could we just break that one? Would it be worth it? I don't know. I'd probably not. I should not bring new people in during the storm, probably. Given the, you know, situation we have here.
Huh. Okay. Well, at least we're going to get some training gear out of it. Uh, we are going to starve, though, for sure. Okay. That's annoying, but, I mean, what can I do? You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. You know, honestly, maybe that's worth it. Gathering speed is decreased by 50% will kill us at this point. We definitely can't do that. I'm also looking at protected trade. Hostility is reduced by 10 points, which is a tenth of a level. Every time you sell goods worth 30 amber, you have to sell so much. Like, I don't think that's actually a reasonable way to solve any of our problems. I'm going to take Smuggler's Visit because we need a way of making tools. So, which tool producing building is it going to be? That's the name of a building. Uh, what I want is industry, probably. Is a kind of industry. It's like the carpenter. What else can we get is the question. Tools and what else of value? That's two star tools. Carpenter's also two star tools. We get scrolls here for education. It might be the scribe, actually. This gets us pipes, which would allow us to install more rain engines. And we could probably make the, can you, can you make pipes out of crystallized dew? Does it have to be copper? Okay. So that is potentially a way to, to push through this real fast. I mean, not real fast, though, probably. It's probably quite slow. Do I value pipes over... I mean, plank efficiency is not really turning out to be that much of a problem. Scrolls we probably don't need. Or, um, ale we probably don't need, but scrolls we do. Yeah, let's take the scribe. And then... We will construct one... Out hereabouts. Yeah, we just need- we need tools very badly because we have to open caches and we have been given very few rewards that can produce, uh, can produce tools. All right, I do want to pull more people in. Let's get more coats. We have enough housing that everybody's still happy because we've lost so many people. We're losing food. Okay, this is finally actually getting rebuilt a little bit. It will be able to help. And then we probably have, yeah, we have enough hands that we can start assigning some things to some of this stuff. Uh, Y'all are free. So we are out of things for you to do. You're complaining about the lack of cloth. I'm working on it as best I can. Yeah, there's only so much we could do about that. We just need rather a lot of stuff and we are, oh God, we are so out of food. This is another one of those things where I could, like, I wish I could set a priority on an event because we really, really, really badly 
need that farm to finish. But it just it just isn't finishing because they aren't working on it. Okay. Three foxes, three fox pack support. That's neat. It does create a little bit of a housing problem. The proper solution to that housing problem is actually beaver houses. Which will then make room for the foxes in the big housing. Okay, they're working on that. This we can still get some benefit out of. I will say this has me like a little worried, not makeshift post, a uh, small warehouse. Probably behooves us to have another another warehouse up here. And we certainly have some folks looking for work, like there is a desperation as soon as a job is available. All right, we need packs of building materials and packs of crops. Packs of crops are going to be hard to come by because we are not, we are not food. We just don't have food. At 25 and 30 respectively. Let's just at the limits. We might be able to make that work. All right, we have a little bit of money to work with. We have some ancient tablets to work with, and we know we're never gonna need to turn these in for an event, so that is certainly helpful. Um, gathering tools is kind of cool. Reinforced saw blades is really good for sure. But what we really need is tools. So yeah, I think we want to put all of these on the table. Receive tools in re return. And then it's like, is there anything else that we want to sell? We actually probably need a lot of our crystallized dew to make our tool to make tools of our own. It'd be silly to sell it for that purpose. I think we can probably sell two of these as well, at least. And so we can pick up a few more. And can I generate one point of value? Yeah, I mean, I can sell enough crystallized dew for that. I think that's fine. So that will give me enough reward or enough tools to at least send that initial box back home. And this one, like, we really, really, really do not value the stuff that's in it. So mailing that back home is for sure a, a good and valuable thing. Let's run a favor here. Because we could be getting another point of reputation and thus getting this and... Okay, so now we have a question. I think of, do we want to, like, how badly do we want to be able to make scrolls? Because we're going to need something like a cookhouse. We're going to need pigment or, oh, you can make scrolls with wine, can't you? Yeah, but we can't afford to, I probably can't afford to make wine. I certainly can't afford to make excess wine. I actually think I'm going to re-roll this. We need either... Um, upgraded food gathering buildings or we need a farm that makes food and we get neither well um, yeah that's a bad beat right there friends that's tough 
We get the ability to make skewers, which are not very good. I mean, they're okay. Jerky and incense, both of which are like not super compelling. What I need is another reroll. This did not turn out very well. I don't know. Here's flour, I suppose. Uh, let's do this thing as normal. Try to give ourselves a little bit of, of room. Resolve-wise. A hungry mistworm has appeared in the settlement. The fishermen have summoned a dangerous or forbidden glade event near the ancient. Interesting. Uh, so we can chase it away or we can feed it. If we feed it, we get paid in a very serious amount of food. If we chase it off, we get reputation, which feels like the way to go. We don't quite have the resources for that, though. I will say this heavy fog punishment is like nothing. So I don't feeding it doesn't seem so bad. How would I Cuz we're not currently gathering we are currently gathering meat. Yeah, so I guess it would be, um, re-enable consumption of insects, disable consumption of meat, and build up a, build up a meat stockpile. I think that's the only, of these things, it's the only thing we're actually actively gathering. Um, I would really like to do the chase away, but we just don't, things have not gone well here as far as our options sort of like building into each other. Maybe we can just tool this. We have a little while before it, um, before it goes however it's gonna go. Be really sick if we could do some of this. Yeah, I'm a little leery of like sacrificing goods in the hearth, but I wonder if we absolutely have to. Because, like, we had to, the hostility level has to come down, right? It's just we don't have enough wood to get away with it, I'm afraid. Oh, cool. Blood flower. Um, at least the blood flowers are giving us rewards for interacting with them. That is cool. That is, that is legitimately useful. Uh, ooh, dye extractor is rad. Villagers with the leisure need fulfilled have a better chance. You know what? Yeah, that's totally fine. Can we get this built, please? It feels like this thing is running 100% of the time and we just never have resources. They're not being used to build anything. We just never have them. It's like there's embezzlement occurring. <laughs> I don't I don't know where stuff is going. Okay, so we're watching it leave the stockpile. This is like the highest priority possible. Getting our scribe finished so that we can build tools is the only thing that matters. If we can build tools, we can solve all of our other problems. 
with tool building. But like there's there's never been a single plank available. Something if I don't know, something feels wrong. None of the buildings are gaining planks. There's some planks in this thing's build site. I do think this is a high priority too. Finishing that like after after finishing the scribe would be totally reasonable. Yeah, people are actually dying now, which is wild. But like we can't, we have limited ability to produce food and there we can push a little resolve now at least. Part of the reason our ability to produce food is limited is because we can't finish anything. Yeah, it's, uh, something's actually wrong here. Like our, our Situation is feeling a little bit stuck. In theory, we are producing planks, but they're just vanishing. They're not going into the stockpile. So they never get, they, you know, they can never get pulled out to put into any buildings. They're just vanishing. And we have a lot of people who are kind of like, gathered around here doing nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what is happening here. But we haven't actually seen, like we've seen them completing plank recipes, right? Okay, so that goes into this thing, and then it gets run, in theory. Did it just vanish? It was grabbed by somebody, but it never goes into the stockpile. Where does it end up? Huh. Yeah, it, it does seem like stuff is just vanishing, huh? People are picking up goods and they're just vanishing. So we have a trader. I'm like, I'm wondering if we can, um, oh, they're going to the packs of building materials. But they shouldn't be exclusively going to the packs of building materials. And the guy making the packs of building materials isn't even... Yeah, wow. He's really, like, he's gathered up everything in the... <laughs> he has so much food stashed away in here. Uh, jeez. But it's so it's so weird that they were like they were never they're never going to the warehouse or anything. It's just they're they're moving directly over to the makeshift post. I mean, I guess I need to see this. This shouldn't be happening either. Like this is still a bug because this is pr priority zero. There's no version of this where that building should be taking supplies that should be going into a building that has a priority of five, right?
how are we going to manage this? Becomes the question. Impatience is pretty high. Definitely going to stop favoring for a second here. Okay, yeah, we definitely have to turn this off for a second. We need to put all of this. I'm just going to all of it back to the supply. How is this one beaver the only person in town who's paying attention to the orders? The Nope. Get out of here. Don't don't work on that. Okay, yeah, I've been, like, super focused on trying to get them to actually build things, and they just won't. And it's because I guess that one beaver had asserted such control over everyone in the settlement. That doesn't make any sense. That's very bizarre. Okay, uh, these need to get moved. I'm going to run out of stuff for the hearth as well, if we're not careful. Okay, so the scribe being done destroys all stored food. Yeesh. Well, everybody was starving anyway. Alright, so let's get all y'all in here. Ignore everything else. Only important duty right now is the production of... I mean, I guess you could use copper bars if you could find any. Only important thing right now is the production of tools because we got to solve that problem over there. I guess I could have let him finish. Yeah, we do need one more pack of building materials is the really frustrating thing. Okay. We also need to use rainwater in engines. If I turn this on... To here, at least. We can still finish this. We can still finish that. But we're taking a beating on this ancient seal because we can't, like, because there have been no caches and we've had no tool income. I don't know. I This is... Probably still maybe doable. I feel like I feel like that thing happening while I while it was not clear that that was happening may have killed us. So we don't want to do this right now. All right. We'll welcome people in right after the timer expires here. They'll bring in some food with them. That'll be one thing. That'll that'll buy us a little bit of time. But then he's just going to eat pretty much all of it during the chase away. But we'll do the chase away. That'll get us another point of resolve. That'll buy us a little bit of point of time on the impatience. Yeah, I just didn't realize like there's that one beaver was hoarding every kind of good in the entire settlement in a way that frankly doesn't even make sense given what his um what his available jobs were. Did this ever get built? No. Cuz I can't I can't specify a um a priority for it, right? That is that is very rough. All right, well, at this point, all there is is, like, waiting for tools to get finished. And I guess that's kind of neat. We're going to get jerky and crystal growth from this blood flower. And then get the timer on that down to three minutes. That's cool. Yep. Okay. Uh, scribe left. That's not allowed. 
where are we at on the timer on this event? Because I don't really want to some like yeah, I don't want to pull people into. I don't want to gain food and immediately lose it. One additional trade. I mean, we kind of have to. Nobody, nobody talk about the thing that's happening here. We just we just have to resort to some measures. All right, look at that. Our, our, like our reputation, or our resolve levels are even like pretty good. Okay, so we're waiting until the, the timer expires. All the food's gonna vanish. Turns out we don't have any food anyway. Except the group of bonus people that has food. How are the scribes doing? Um, could y'all please deliver those goods? And then we put foxes on this. Okay, cool. Yeah, five, five, eight. All right, so that's enough to finish the worm problem, to solve the worm problem. Now we need to open some more glades and find another cache somewhere so that we can move the heart of the forest because we still need to see like what the other seal levels are, right? There's a lot going on here and we are like very fucked. <laughs> okay, we can start farming. Hey, we can start farming. That took a huge amount of effort. It was way, way more trouble than it needed to be. Um, but yeah, let's get two people on the farm. Y'all, go, go and farm. I guess the beanery, you know, it's, it, it, it's, we need to have it. It needs to exist. It's going to be a while before it's actually, like, viable as a, as a thing to work with. Need more craftspeople. Yep, okay, keep working on the limits. Working on the limits. Never, ever, ever in our lives had enough planks. It is just not possible. It's not possible to have enough planks. Do we want to try breaking through to, like, a couple of innocuous... Um... Yeah, gosh, we're just, like, plowing through our wood supplies as well. This is going to be really brutal. Okay, the stonecutter's camp can be moved. At the very least, we are not out of clay. We are out of many things, friends, but not clay. Okay, that's going, that's going. We need um, the design for another food producing farm. I think that would be very helpful. It would also be really cool if we could pull another point of, um, another point of what you call it here, because we are going to impatience out if we don't get some reputation. All right, here's a point of reputation incoming. Here's a point of reputation incoming. That's a design. We just gotta survive. Are we breaching? We gotta breach something. Do we wanna breach an innocuous glade or do we have to hit big glades? I think it's gotta be big glades, right? At this point, like we, we certainly can't afford to open a glade that doesn't have a cache in it. So go to friends and good luck to the Ladia. Which is to say us. What have we? Cash. Rad. Uh, it is a large cash, but I mean, there was probably no chance that it wouldn't be. Uh, we do have a broodmother situation going on here, which is fucking fantastic news. Let's get the trappers out to engage with that. And when I say the trappers, I do mean that I need there to be two of you. What is this? What is this going to take? Oh, this is the same. This is the ancient shrine event again. Okay. So that's an ancient artifact with plus three global resolve on it versus half a point of reputation. Reputation is not the end-all be-all. 
in this situation, unusually. So I think... Uh, our resolve levels tanked really badly when we opened the glade. The Rage of the Forest is bad news. But I think we need this ancient artifact. The tavern get finished? I don't know, I'm like all over the place, but... Sorry about the AD, ADHD, the whatever my letters, the bad ones. You know, all those bad letters I have. We do, so, like, we have so many resolve problems. I'm trying to work on that as well. How many people are in the encampment and how do they get welcomed? They get welcomed with the kinds of food that we don't have. We send them to the Citadel. Those are the kinds of food we have. That's inconvenient too, huh? Really taking a beating here. Um, okay. This will help. Let's do a break open here. I know it's not reputation, but it still counts for opened or sent. It'll resolve the cash. And the goods in there are actually really important to us. Yeah. So that's one thing. That's one thing that will matter. We are probably going to have to activate this. And it might just be packs of building materials, but we don't have to do it right this second. Uh, we have to do it pretty soon, actually. Oh, the firekeeper died. Yeah. Sheesh. Um. Yeah, it's going to be the packs of building materials. I think it has to be. I don't feel great about that. Hey, could y'all stop fucking starving? That would be fantastic. Stop stop starving, you cowards. Okay, so we have no spare hands. We have no builder right now. Destroys six random resource nodes. Okay. All right, so we didn't lose all of the Broodmother nodes. Um, the farms will still work. Yeah, we still have trappers. We still have... Okay, you know, that wasn't that bad. That could have been a lot worse. It was bad, but it could have been a lot worse. It's about to be worse. <laughs> it's going to... For a little bit now. Yeah, okay. We just hit the impatience. That's wild that, like... We had so many things break our resolve so many times that we needed to cover, like, a fifth of a point of resolve. Or a fifth of a point of reputation. And we just kept, like, the, the resolve kept going above the blue line and then dropping below immediately again. And, oh, that's really frustrating. I feel like we had basically the worst luck that it was possible to get there with, like, every glade we opened had stuff that wasn't useful. We had to fight the blueprint system constantly. Every single blueprint attempt was just like, none of this shit matters. We re-rolled and got worse options. And just, ugh, what a nightmare. And we're at 17 tools now. So, yeah, given, given this point of reputation actually happening, we would have been able to open the cache in the other glade. And I maybe could have done that in time anyway. That resolving would have gotten us heart of the forest, would have gotten the second tier of the thing open, but like it's still bad, right? It's still very bad. Ugh. Just absolutely brutal. So unfortunately, that means like we're now like a whole cycle away from closing the seal. Yeah, all we can do is all we can do is press the is press the oh no button. That is a real shame. All right, well, we unlocked a bunch of things. We did some 
rewards are getting recycled into other rewards. There is nothing to do but watch the blight. Claim the land. Viceroy is tough. Viceroy might be just like a little bit... Um, a little bit more than my ability to focus can handle. Yeah, okay. Well, here we are. We're back. It's time to do the thing over again. Let's go to the city. Let's spend our upgrades. Uh, deeds. Sorry, upgrades. Wrong buttons. I said the word upgrades, then I just didn't click the thing that is for that. Okay. Fox housing. In the essentials. I think that's really important. Then... We can choose to start with planks. Again, I really wish this had a number on it. Because, like, how good, how good it is really, really depends on that number. <laughs> this is also very compelling. But we had to go through another node to get there. I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock this. And we'll see. Getting getting to start with planks probably is very significant. Unless it unless it ends up being like five, you know. Um but if it's any if it's any real number, that's that's gotta be a big deal. So the blue runes are unfortunately kind of in directions that don't lead to a lot of points of interest. We could like do this sort of like swoosh out to there or yeah something like that Whew, i don't know but we have to go through another whole blight cycle before we can try sealing a fragment again and i don't know i might um i might cover some of the distance off camera maybe just so that y'all don't have to necessarily like wait five episodes before we can try another ceiling i don't know let me know how you feel about it in the comments uh and thank you all so much for watching. That is, of course, going to be it for us for today. This is a rough one. This has been a couple of rough ones in a row. And I'm definitely wondering if, like I'm saying, Viceroy is maybe just a little bit more than my ability to focus uh, can handle. When you come back next time, we're pushing out. We're, we're trying again. Somebody's got to seal these damn things. Certainly not going to be the queen. And we'll see you then.